Why do I want to hit that button to record? Hi, I'm Gary. Um, Are you actually recording? Yeah. Okay. And I saw the five-year engagement um, featuring the great Jason Siegel. Um, and I'm a bit of a man. I'm a bit of a man. I do want to start off with the fact that I'm very... Jason Siegel's my kind of actor. He suits me very well. He's very subtle comedy. I'm not attracted to Justin Siegel. Stop laughing. Mm -hmm. I, I terrible, but after seeing him in uh, yeah, Forgetting Sarah him. Marshall, I have fallen in love with his acting style. And The Muppets was and awesome. His sweet ass. No. <laughs> no. Dad ass. Mean, I don't even know if he has. <laughs> yeah, Brian, just you. And then watch The Muppets and you can find out. I watched The Muppets. <laughs> five year engagement pay was just to his ass. the tops. Um, Jason Siegel was really the star of the show. Um, there was a lot of other guest actors. Um, it had, this is going to sound very racist, the Middle Eastern girl from The Office. Okay. Yeah. Indian. Um, she's Indian. I don't, I don't know her name, though. I don't know her name. That's why I feel terrible. Um, she's Asian, not Middle Eastern. And I'm then saying. it's got, I don't know how to describe her, the schoolgirl from Community. I've never seen that show. I've never seen it's awesome. I saw the pilot. There were a few, I think there was like one or two showings of community characters in that. Um, but essentially, the plot is um, Jason Siegel, though the movie opens with Jason Siegel and his girlfriend, whose actress's name I just cannot remember. Um, she's British. <laughs> Have some trouble? <laughs> I locked the door. Um, Jason Siegel is bringing his girlfriend to ask him to marry her. But he gets really nervous because, you know, women are dumb and ask all the questions that guys don't want them to ask. So it comes hey. out... <laughs> women are dumb. They're also cool and awesome, hey. but they're also dumb. <laughs> you, you realize your girlfriend's going to watch this. She's not my girlfriend. Okay, whatever. Anyways, that's a different topic for later. Um, uh, we're doing a video just on Gary's love life. <laughs> Shut up. We're doing a um, nine-part series. So she finds it out. It's being directed he gets all. Burns. He just goes, "Fuck it, I'm gonna tell her." And she gets all, "Oh yes!" So when they go in, they he asks her to marry her, and everything goes away, and it kind of shows like the witty humor that the whole movie is gonna kind of take on. All right. The whole witty humor that it's going you to. You said take it all on. goes array. Don't correct me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, it, it shows off that witty humor oh, nice. that's going to be throughout the whole film. Um, it does very yeah. well at that. Um, and after they get engaged, um, they go to like, their engagement party, and then they're planning the wedding, and then all of a sudden, um, she gets a job at University of Michigan. So the film's actually in Michigan a lot. Yeah. And it's there's so, it's so many tragedy. Yeah. There's, <laughs> no, there's a lot of jokes that only Michiganders would get. Like all of the snow. Like Michiganers. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> except, don't correct me. Except for this winter. Oh, this winter sucks. Oh, yeah, this but winter, no snow. I didn't get was, to make a snow angel or go sledding. Uh -huh. like, or wrap up winter. Okay. Right, back Jason Siegel plays a cook. And it goes through all these restaurants in Michigan, and I know I'm like the only one in the world who like likes Michigan food, but <laughs> it goes over like all the restaurants like by U of M, which are all really good, and he can't get a job at any of them. So he starts making sandwiches at this really good sandwich Please shop. Please tell me he goes to Ashley's, because that's my favorite restaurant. Did he go to Ashley's? Do they make sandwiches? They're like a pub. Nah, he, he, like I don't think every, they show it. Uh, oh. Um, it's like every beer ever made, ever. <laughs> <laughs> so a pub. Yeah, it's like a pub. And they got one in Westland, too, so it makes me happy. Um, but the, the um, female actress, who I wish I knew her name, because she was really good, but I can't remember her name. She was British. I don't know anything about British. Well, that narrows it down. <laughs> <laughs> there are like three women in England. <laughs> <laughs> it's either Jane, Dude, Jane, Dane, Judy Dench, Karen Gilliam, or Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> I'm going with Queen of Living. Or Harold the Bottom Carter. Oh um, no, it was the Queen. It was the it was Elton John. <laughs> no, the Queen of England. Um, Queen Elizabeth. Man, Jason Siegel's got some good choices, man. Elton John. Um, Wait, really? No. Queen Elizabeth. Oh. <laughs> she she gets she gets into yeah, U of M, and at U of M, she becomes like they they do studies on how people 
treat certain situations. And it, my favorite part, my favorite joke of the whole movie was they're all talking about ways of showing that adults get in the same situations as children. And they show at first that they, they put a marshmallow in front of a child and say, <laughs> if you don't eat this, I'll be back in 30 min or 20 minutes with another marshmallow. And it shows that every child eats the marshmallow. So they're all coming up with ways of showing the adults have the same exact problem. So they go around the table. I love marshmallows. And one of the guys is like, how about we turn off the lights and the first to masturbate loses? <laughs> 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 Everyone's just, dude, why is every idea you give about masturbation? He's like, that's the only way to prove anything! <laughs> Everything is masturbation to me! <laughs> and the Asian guy comes I up and he's like, or how about we knock the guy out and then we cover him in blood and feathers, put a gun in his hand, <laughs> and then wake him up! <laughs> hey, wake up! And when he wakes up, just see his reaction. <laughs> <laughs> and then they continue it. At the, there's a scene in the movie where, um, well, I'll continue. I'll come back to that later. Um, okay. She gets the job there. <laughs> it's the best joke in the whole film, by the way. I know, you know what I'm thinking right now? I, I'm just thinking of Muppets masturbating. <laughs> Everything's masturbation! Everything! Now I'm pissed at thank you! You're so like, perfect! Have you ever noticed, like, if you even in cop shows, that, like, the first thing they think of is, let's look for semen. Yeah. Always look for semen. That's the first thing everyone does everywhere. Admit it. Someone was murdered. Really? Did you look for semen? <laughs> Not really. Well, that's what you did wrong. Some people <laughs> just get that excited when they kill people. They can't help Better it. Better they like boats. What? <laughs> semen. That's a joke. Get over it. Oh, we no. have. I thought you meant they were masturbating thinking about boats. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, what are you? You're so Schooner! <laughs> yeah! Port side! <laughs> hey, Elton John's very talented. Anyways. Queen Elizabeth. So, she does her thing at the school, and um, Jason Segel kind of loses his place in society, and he starts knitting sweaters, and... Hunting, and that's another good scene where he shoots the deer. He's ah, 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 ah! Good shot, man! Oh, guy just shot a deer. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Calm down, and then it falls off his car, and he has to get out. <laughs> and he it in the front seat, <laughs> right next to him. <laughs> oh my god! That's just making me think of a uh, so freaking... good. Queens of the Stone Age? Yeah! So, he kind of loses himself, and he grows this awesome, like, handlebar... I don't even know what it was. Like, it was just a beard here, it skipped right here. Straight here, so, straight here. Like, mutton chops? Yeah, but it wasn't, like... But, like, extreme mutton chops? Like, that. there was hair, like, right here, but not underneath. It was just like this, and then... His hair, I don't even know, it was creepy and awesome. But he loses his place, and um, to, to get him kind of back in the world um, of Michigan? I don't even know, whatever he was beforehand. Um, he brings over one of his friends who was where he used to live. And he has kids, and Jason Siegel's like, I don't want to have kids. And so the wife's like, well, we're watching the baby then, so we can make sure you have kids. And the kid is sitting next to him, and he's he's he sees a, a picture on the computer of a cat going, ah, and then a cat jumps and pounces on him. So the ba the the kid moves into the kitchen, and he's just, where did she go? And then the girl, the wife comes downstairs and goes, where's the baby? You're supposed to be watching her. And she's in the kitchen with the crossbow, just standing there waiting. <laughs> and then they walk in, <laughs> and he, and the kid shoots the girl, which is really odd. Usually slapstick. Is usually to the male. Yeah, if you if you hurt a man, it's funny. If you hurt a woman, you're a dick. And it was awesome. She gets shot with the arrow. Everyone's freaking out. The kids crying. The parents get home, and everyone's just looking at Jason Siegel. When it wasn't really like, like what kid goes into the kitchen, grabs a crossbow, and is like, "This is awesome." 
What this kid is... does it? <laughs> also, a girl, question, by the way. because, like, some commercials and then, like, the trailers, does she say, I'm Pocahontas or I'm Katniss? Yeah, no, I'm Pocahontas, and then shoots her. Okay. I swear I saw ones where she said, I'm Katniss. Yeah, on TV they're saying, I'm Katniss, but in, like, the trailers in the theaters, it's, I'm Pocahontas. I bet you, I bet you they edit that for TV so they don't yeah. offend anybody. It was genius. <laughs> um... So, things go crazy there, and then she starts working even longer. So that's where the whole five-year engagement comes on, because they haven't gotten married. Um, and then they break up. And they go their separate ways. Aww. And she dates, and like... the movie ends. Oh, oh, no! They, um... Everything's going crazy, and she cheats on him. Well, not really. The guy kisses her. This other guy kisses her. He's like, ah, 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 I kissed the guy! And Jason Segel's like, I'm a pussy bitch. I'm gonna go cry over in the corner. <laughs> And there's, there's a scene where he's like, I want to be alone. I'll leave then. But I don't want you to leave. I, I want to be alone. But, yeah, I'll leave. No, I want to be with you, but alone. Do you want me to stay? I want you to stay! Do you need me? No, I'm alone. You're not here. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Is he a man or a muppet? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was some intense thinking. <laughs> and so he feels that he's been cheated on. So he goes on this drunken spree of craziness. And, like, gets into a food fight with a girl at his work and almost has sex with? Like, there wasn't even any cheating. The whole time he's just, get away from me, get away from me. And she, like, throws hot sauce on his in his eyes and it gets crazy. What? Yeah, it's it was <laughs> what's going on. So, they break up and they go their separate ways. And then they both realize the whole lovey-dovey, we were right for each other all along, we were idiots, let's get back together. And that's essentially the whole film. The story isn't a big deal. Did they actually get married in the yes. movie? Yes. Oh, the marriage was really cool. They they give up on just... Wow. Good <laughs> job. You are an artist. <laughs> One of them is much larger than the other. <laughs> that happened to some women, okay? Uh, is I mean, it like... She couldn't walk straight. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in the world is left <laughs> um, So when they're getting married, the, the, um, the girl... They... they they, they separate. So when they come back together, she's like, will you marry me? And he's like, but I was I was literally just going to ask you to marry me. He pulls out the ring and he's all upset. So she brings him to the park where they've set up like this, like, you know, setting up a wedding takes like six months. But for them, it was like a day-long version of that. It was like, montage? do you want... Yeah, kind, kind of a montage. But it was literally in like 10 minute, a 10 minute time frame of them going through this park, planning this short wedding. And they're like, J J uh, Mexican band or street downtown orchestra? And there's like, what about that guy? Oh, that's just a hobo playing piano. And he's like, <laughs> downtown band thing. And then they run off. And then they look at suits and it's like, regular suit, vintage suit, or Hawaiian fun. And he's just, vintage suit. I would have chosen Hawaiian. I want to dress like <laughs> a Hawaiian guy for my wedding. And then they get married, like, in the park. It was really cool. I hope I can get married like that. That'd be awesome. I want to get married in my Saiyan armor. But white, white Saiyan <laughs> Your armor. So Saiyan armor? I love my Saiyan armor. Have like a big DBZ cosplay wedding. That'd be terrible. Awesome. Nerds. So, oh. If I could, like. I One, I would see this movie again. <laughs> so. But I'm, I'm a comedy junkie. But. At each, have you ever been watching a comedy and then you go into the special features? It has the linearama, like it has the actor saying the same line or the same scene, but saying a different line each time. Yeah, it was like a massive linearama movie. Aww. Just each character would throw funny line, funny line, funny line, funny line, scene change. Funny line, funny line, funny line, scene change, and it was awesome, hilarious. There was never a missed joke. And they never really forced it. It felt like the actors were just kind of improv their way into Awesome Land, and it worked. That was a terrible, not even a metaphor. <laughs> I don't know what I just did, but they were in Awesome Town. Awesome <laughs> Come along with us. An illusion, maybe? Down to Fraggle Rock. <laughs> no, Awesome Town. Dad? That yeah. is Fraggle Rock. <laughs> <laughs> what? You may want to start your car. Um, yeah, I know. But since I don't want to talk any longer, if I could give the movie a score, I would easily give it 
probably a nine. I feel like, to me, because I'm such a fan of Jason Siegel, <laughs> I feel like this probably will be the best comedy of the year. I'm hoping and dreaming. Anyone want to make a bet on me? Because I will win. I don't, I, I don't know what other comedies are coming out to camera. Really okay. I think it's gonna Maybe be no. the Muppets. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're all wrong. We know what the best comedy will be. Think like a man. No. The Three Stooges. No. The other. Hitler the musical. Um. Oh God, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what? The Tyler Perry movie. Uh, <laughs> nah, this this movie was really good, and it's funny because it was a romantic comedy. Yeah. And it was like if you if you're going to see a comedy. That should be your first choice. No other. Now, will, will, will guys like this? Will women like this? Or will... that's that's the thing. Um, since both both the female and male character are very focused on very equally, mm -hmm. um, I feel like a man would easily get his side, his point of view, and would laugh at all the hunting jokes and everything. Even though the girl, like they switched the role, kind of the guy is like. Essentially, the stay-at-home father, though there's no mm. kids, he's like the stay-at-home guy, and the girl's becoming the working stiff. So it kind of switches the roles, and that's like Jason Siegel's kind of girly. Mm. So, well, he was in the Muppets too. Even my boobs were better than that. I don't know what that is? <laughs> it feels like you're groping the window. <laughs> but he was I'm not even gonna turn know. the camera right now. Um, but yeah, I know. I, I recommend it to everyone. Um, the jokes were not that crude, except all the masturbation. Um, Muppet yeah. masturbation. There was, uh, there was like two scenes of masturbation it. jokes. And then all the crazy sex scenes, because he dates like an 18-year-old chick. Really good looking, by the yeah. way. And they're sitting there, and it's like, th it's, God, it's Thanksgiving, what should we do? And then just cuts to them in bed. <laughs> yeah! 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 And then doing it for like a whole thing five or six scenes and then they break out the Zumba because every girl likes doing Zumba. I don't know why. <laughs> and then they're just in bed. Oh, damn, we're so bored. And then there's a party of people doing Zumba. And they have more sex. And that's their whole Thanksgiving. Wow. Best Thanksgiving ever. The okay, final final question for me. Any Muppets? No. Oh. The we can hope and dream. How amazing would that movie be if Muppets were involved? Well, I, no, like, no. I will say, I will no, say, here's how it should have been. He was a Muppet in this film. This is what it should have been. It should have been the exact same movie, female lead played by a Muppet. No one acknowledges <laughs> it. It's <laughs> never brought up. Exact same movie otherwise. I don't know. I actually kind of feel Amy Adams would have would have been great in the role. That would have actually been awesome. But then people would have walked out of the theater bitching like, "Where's Walter? Did and why did they?" Like, I can I'm already bitching there's no Muppets in the movie anyway, it was... so I don't care. <laughs> Actually, I kind of liked it more than the Muppets. <gasps> really? Look, you don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand how good it was. It was, I mean, each comedy hit me perfectly, which you could tell in the audience of the movie, every yeah, joke sort of was funny to everyone. And usually it was couples. I think I was the only non-with-someone-person. Loser. But, <laughs> shut up. I was a sucker for comedy anyway. So. Yeah, I, I do love comedies, but you will like it. It's a great movie. And scene? 